Hello guys and welcome back in a new video. We are here today uh, to unboxing the Ultimega 3, how you can see here. And first things before starting this unboxing, I already did an unboxing of the One Ultimega 3. It was working really well. The only issue I had was the NFC, it wasn't working. So Ultimega uh, really quickly sent me a new unit. And uh, so is is here and uh, we will proceed to unboxing the machine and see how it is. First things to start is of course to remove the machine from the box. So I will put on the floor the box. And pull out the machine. On top we found some bubble wrap uh, and the machine. So, removing the machine from the box wasn't super easy. Uh, probably I will uh, recommend you to let you out from a friend or someone nearby you, just to be sure to don't damage the printer during the process to remove it from the box. On top here, we can open this clip. Uh, I have a couple of tests, a bench uh, test for the dual extrusion. And we have two spools of material, one is PLA silver and one is PVA, uh, of course 2.85 and they are branded Ultimaker. We can remove the spool from the top on the test and remove the packaging and put it on the side. I would say is a really really good packaging, uh, easy to remove. Here on the top we have an accessory box that is quite heavy and I will remove the last piece on the box. And in the bottom part we have uh, the cable for the alimentation. First things to do is to remove this zip tie and I will just cut it and remove it. Then I will move the head, I remove the tape from here, the blue tape on the front. Now we will proceed to open the accessory box and see what is inside. For starting we have a quick start guide, uh, a paper for the calibration of the X and Y, we have the glass build plate, the calibration card, we have two print core BB0.4 uh, and AA0.4, here we have the power adapter and opening here we have a lot of other stuff, a uh, ethernet cable, the spool holder with the cable for the NFC to connect to the printer, a stick glue, a cover for the cable of NFC from the spool holder, a X screwdriver, some I think lube so is lubrification and some uh, grace and at the end but not last is the USB because right now you can extend the SD card you will put a uh, USB in the printer or you will be able to send the printer from the Wi-Fi or from the app they just release it so I just put the printer on the side so I will be able to install here on the back the spool holder and connect the cable for the NFC here on the printer so I will proceed to put the spool order on the back, keeping in mind to keep this cable on the bottom parts. And then you will proceed, lock here the cable after you uh, insert in the right position the cable here. And then put this cable lock here and and take the cover put in the right position a nice position the cable 
and then you can apply the cover on top and so it will keep your cable protected on the back and just put again the printer in the right position and uh, we open the clamp here and put inside the build plate the glass build plate be sure it's locked in the uh, clamp on the back and close this clip too I just connect the power supply at the printer so we will go and turn on the machine how I told you at the start of the video I already unboxed one of this machine and uh, I notice and I know all the time you turn on one of these machines it will take around probably 20-25 seconds to uh, be ready uh, so it just uh, show up the Ultimate logo on the screen now it will uh, proceed the things to do a test with the fan and then shut down again the fan and then turn on the light and now it will be a bit strange on the recording because the lights are really powerful and now we will proceed to follow the step by step on the screen and uh, proceed with the set final setup and then do a fourth test print so uh, in the on the screen we can uh, read uh, welcome uh, uh, in just a few steps we will help to set up your ultimaker so we press continue uh, let's uh, start by inserting uh, the print core uh, okay continue carefully open the printed fan bracket so this one on the front confirm uh, AA 0.4 print core detected in the print head slot 1 okay uh, for the first run we will use print core 2 for PVA material and to be honest I don't want to start with PVA material we, I want to keep the PVA for some more cool project uh, instead of a uh, test print for the start so I will insert the other so is the AAA I will do change and I will say confirm so place the print core a 0.4 so this is the print core I will go to insert in the head okay so I just detected I insert the 0 0.4 uh, AA print core continue uh, as to close this panel confirm the next step is to load the printer with material continue we will start with the material for uh, print core 2 so it's uh, moving home place the new spool on the spool holder so it's asking to place the spool I will use these blue filaments as you can see here we have the NFC tag uh, ring so I will put this on the spool holder and she will understand what material and what color I'm using so I just place the spool and press continue and automatically understand this PLA material so now we'll feed the material and uh, wait it will come out from the extruder and how you can see right now here is coming down is like dark I feel it's like a black I think this is the color they use uh, before for the testing and now is blue so I can just confirm and now we will insert the uh, material for the print core one so I will just do the same and come back uh, when I finish to load the other material next step is to connect the printer with the network and uh, I will uh, proceed uh, so the printer is creating an auto sp out spot that I can connect with my phone and then I will let me be able to connect the printer with uh, the Wi-Fi that I have uh, in this house and uh, we will see if everything is go well and I uh, will come back so I just connect uh, it's, it's now attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi I just set up everything from uh, my phone I put the password of my network and now it should be able to connect to the Wi-Fi in my house so it's connected to the Wi-Fi and we can continue it 
and I just found out uh, you have a new firmware online so I will let the printer update so the printer just downloaded and installed the software inside the uh, Ultimaker and uh, I will proceed with a print test uh, I will not need to calibrate I mean I should probably calibrate the uh, X and, and Y to be sure to have a double color print uh, well done but you know what uh, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes so I will just proceed and do a force print uh, uh, of a snowman that I designed for double extrusion and we'll see how it come out and uh, finish this video So, uh, welcome back from the time lapse. Uh, hope you like it, and I'm really impressed with the model. Uh, it was without prime uh, tower, so uh, it came out really, really clean and really well done. Uh, I think it's because anyway, it was Ultimaker uh, material, so the Cura settings was done perfectly for printing with their material. And uh, just some uh, characteristic of the machine, uh, the build plate is 215 uh, by 215 by 200 millimeter. You have uh, here in the corner a camera that uh, you can check from the Cura on the PC what uh, is happening inside the printer. Uh, they just release an app where you can slice and send printing and check the print uh, uh, the, of, uh, from the machine. Uh, you have a swappable nozzle. Uh, you have Wi-Fi connectivity, USB to uh, instead uh, SD card and uh, I mean it's a really really great machine uh, probably not uh, for everyone because the price is around 3,400 uh, £3, pounds um, so yeah it's not for everyone or for hobby maybe more for work or if you do like really crazy um, design so you can uh, use the PVA uh, material for the support uh, but yeah I will I will really like to see in the comments what you think about this machine I will of course make more and more video uh, in the future this is mine, this is stay here in my place uh, because I won this machine in a contest, uh, design contest on Pinshape. Uh, so we we'll stay here with me and check out uh, all my social, in particular Twitter. Uh, I'm posting a um, video where I put um, uh, the Ultimate Free and the Sigma uh, printing the same object and uh, releasing a small video showing is, uh, the result of the print. And uh, right now I'm filming this, tomorrow I will receive another dual extruder printer so I will post a lot of video with dual extruder, on, uh, pro probably in particular on social and then plus I will do maybe some video here on YouTube if people are interested. And see you at the next one, remember, raise your eyebrow.